Okay, so here in West Hill today, doing a fence. We're replacing this panel fence with trellis on top down the side here, all the way down with a six foot high, three rails, scroll board and top cap feather edge fence. Uh, it's gonna be a little bit challenging around the sheds, but we should be able to make that work. Um, and then we are also replacing this bottom section of fence with a three and a half, four foot high uh, fence. This one doesn't need to be straight. Uh, it just needs to, to follow the same sort of line as the existing one. <clears throat> this is also going to be a feather edge fence. So the feather edge on the uh, fence here will go on the outside facing the field. So the rails will be on the inside so that the client can attach trellis and things like that to the back of the fence. So we'll get the rip out started shortly and we'll get going. Time is 8.03. We have to say a big thank you to the fencing centre for getting all the materials here last week. So they're all ready to go, we don't have to pick anything up. Okay, we've got the lads unloading the gear out the back of the trucks. Getting ready to put the waste in. Here is all the materials. Here, we've got all the posts, rails, top cap, feather edge, everything we need. A little bit more post through in here. Here is the stuff they've unloaded so far. Okay, so first challenge we've got is got a load of things growing up the fence here. We said we'll save as much as we possibly can. However, um, some of it will probably have to go. So we're gonna come down, cut ourselves a two or three foot path next to the fence here, all the way down. Got post shoes in there currently, uh, post spikes. Cut our size a two or three foot path all the way down so we can get at the fence uh, and then we can see how that goes. We've got to give, us a, give ourselves a bit of room. And Jake has untangled this plant from the fence already. We're hoping to save that one, although it is in a pretty dangerous spot. So, as you can see, there's not a whole lot to this fence at the minute, but uh, we've got Gareth taking it out. Connor's already had a go, as you might have seen. <laughs> We're going to get Ed brush cutting down the back of it. That's all good. Demolition bar there is working really well when it needs to separate panels. So that's, yeah, should make things a little bit easier on the demolition, but the idea is to cut everything down, pull everything out. Two in the back of my truck. Yeah. So if we do this a little bit gently, we should be able to keep the panels together. Which makes less cleaning up. So just going around to see the neighbours, just to make sure they know we're here before we start breaking through the fence. All the way down. We've made a few little piles here, just clearing out all the brambles and things with the brush cutter blade. I do have safety glasses on, just so we can get into the fence, get it all tidied up. Last couple of panels coming out on the back here. Um, it's really not taking a whole lot. Oh, you can. Yeah, and that was the PG rated version of what you said, so thanks for that. We've got Jake here establishing the first post, the end post here, uh, and then we'll get another one in down the other end. There may be a bit of a curve to it, I don't know. Uh, we should be able to find out a couple of hours time, but he'll establish the, the end post. We'll get a string line up between them and see if we need to, to have any kinks in the fence. It's really hard to tell when it's overgrown like this if it's going to kink or not. Now, even if you get this bit from here to the front of the house nice and straight, I suspect it will disappear into the bushes uh, and then we can look at the other line of the fence somewhere else. 
All right, so this one's nearly full. We don't want to put too much on there and risk it coming out. Uh, so we're going to get this one uh, and we're going to drive it around on the lawn. The lawn's all nice and firm. Hasn't rained for a couple of days. So uh, should be quite, quite safe to do that. It is all nice and flat as well. That will allow us to pick everything up without dragging it all out the front here. All right, the time is 8.55. We are getting the second load of stuff away. We asked the customer if we could drive on the lawn. It's all flat, it's all dry, so it's not an issue. Just to pick up all this stuff, saves us carting it round. And he did ask us to take out a conifer stump down the other end of the garden there. So we've agreed to do that, as long as he'd let me drive on the grass. It seemed like a fair trade. We know that it's got shallow roots and we may be able to pull it out or we'll end up stump grinding it. But he had that taken down a few weeks ago in preparation for us doing the fence because it was all over the fence and we wouldn't have been able to do it without shifting it and there we have the conifer stump nothing too exciting here's the view now that we've brush cut behind the fence the fence is absolutely knackered all, almost all these posts are rotted off at the base falling down a bit more now that most of the brambles are gone uh, so once the fence is in there won't be anything getting through there. It's just a case of the farmer may need to come and put a few, a few more posts in and get the fence back upright. Yeah, hold up. So, we've got them setting the end post down there. Can you go a bit further, Connor? As close into that wall as is possible. Uh, and they're setting all the posts where the direction is changing. For these ones, we've got a two foot hole, about two bags of post creep per hole getting it nice and tight into the wall here uh, and then we've got another four metre section which we'll get a post in the middle to and then we've got six metres and then a couple of eight metres get straighter up that end anyway filling up the watering can ideal for getting the water into the hole when you're doing your posts Okay, time is, if I can get it to focus, 10.21. So we've got half a dozen holes dug in this side. We've got the end posts in for the straight run on this side as well. Uh, we've also got three or four of these posts in. These ones are going down to two foot. We've only got a four foot fence going in here, so it's, it's not enormous. Uh, so it's all going really well. Okay, so we've got the string line up so we can get the top rail line all the way down. The idea is the feather edge will come up to about there, so about 110 mil or so above the top rail, uh, and that will mean that the gravel board using a 1.65 feather edge should be able to sit not quite on the ground on that side but we should be able to get that a little bit more consistent and make it look a little bit better for everyone involved and get a little bit more height on the fence as well
Right, so the time is 3.30. We're just going through everything, tidying everything up. We've got the top and the middle rail on the side fence here. We've got the top rail marked out on the bottom fence. It is going to be pretty tight by the sheds tomorrow. Um, but then we're also working on getting all the stuff out of the neighbours, tidying that up, making sure that we're not leaving a mess in the neighbours. Lovely, Gareth. And it looks like you've got some serious dandruff for. <laughs> okay, the time is five past eight. We've arrived back in West Hill. So the plan for today is to get the gravel board on the side fence here, all the way down, get the third rail on, start feather edging that side, get the tops of the post cut off as well. Um, and while that's going on, the idea will be for Jake to come through here, set a string line where the top rail is going to be going, mark the, t mark the top rail on this bottom fence here, get the top rail on. We've already cut a spacer block for it, 600 mil, it's in the garage uh, to do the spacing between the rails all the way down and then we can put the gravel board on the bottom. Uh, and then start feather edging this as well. We've got two nail guns with us, plenty of nails, so we should be able to get both of them operating at the same time, not too long into the day. Let's see what it's like at the end of the day. And I'm on quotes today, so Jake is in charge. We've got all the posts in for the uh, fence for the farmer's field. We are going all the way up round, all the way up to the end here. Uh, we're just going to get the top rails on now uh, and uh, yeah, we'll chat back in. So we've got a string line up on the top of the posts. We are just marking, so that'll be the top of the top rail uh, all the way down. Obviously, the lie of the land just gets a little bit lower, a little bit lower, a little bit lower, uh, just to make it look good. Uh, Jake's now taking off the string line. We've got the marks on the top so we know exactly where our top rails are going. Uh, then we'll put a little spacer in between for the next rail, so on, with a gravel board on the bottom. And yeah, we'll let you know. Okay, I've uh, just arrived back here and oh, Liam's doing some questionable dancing uh, as well as has fallen over a plant. So that's going well. So yeah, it looks like they're making really nice progress. They've got the feather edge going on to this side. Yeah, now Connor's got the Bluetooth hearing protection and he's having a dance as well. Uh, so they've got all the gravel boards on, they've got all the rails on, and they've got the feather edge starting to go on to this side. We have ended up putting all the feather edge on, on this side. It's going to look the best and provide the, the best result for both neighbours. It is fairly tight down through there, that's for sure. So, got that one. And then, we see here, they're also feather edging this side and they've actually got about 20 metres of that done, so that's going really well. Just got some top cap resting on there at the moment. But, the client wanted the back of this fence and it's all looking really good, really sharp and it's consistent all the way along.
fence up the side here, all completed. We've got down behind all the sheds done, right up through, take you up here. Look at that, all done, completely level, all lovely, lovely. So, 516, second day, fence all the way down, pleated, top cap on, all screwed down, really happy with that. Um, fence up the side, all done, top cap on, screwed down, just a little bit of tidying up to do, and we are done. That's a wrap. Like and subscribe. <laughs>